everybody from Camden Yards in Baltimore, Zach Campbell here and welcome to my new YouTube shoe channel. No, not really, but I am wearing some custom shoes. We'll talk more about that later. For right now, if you can see behind me, there are a bazillion fans already inside the stadium. I need to hustle in there, but just very quickly, it's a Saturday game against the Phillies. It's very much sold out, and half the fans are probably rooting for the Phillies. I was here last night, I was trying to catch my 100th home run. I failed, but today's pitching matchup is more favorable, so we will see how that goes. And now, let's get inside. that I showed up a little bit late today is that I heard from Ben Carhart, the Orioles bullpen catcher, that the O's would not be taking batting practice. But then when I got inside, I saw that, well, there was in fact BP. So it was a bummer to miss out on some of that action, but I did get a baseball early on. That one was actually thrown by Ben. So even though he gave me faulty information, I can't be mad at him for hooking me up. And a little bit after that, I got another baseball also tossed by Colt Colton Hyde, the son of Orioles manager Brandon Hyde. So that was nice, putting up a crooked number. But unfortunately, right after that, the Orioles grounds crew made an appearance and they rolled the batting cage away. That was it for BP. The Phillies are just not hitting today. But that's what happens when teams play 11 innings the night before and there's a lengthy rain delay. And so for right now, there is still more than an hour until game time. There's a whole lot of nothing happening on the field, so I think I'm gonna get out of the sun, figure out my next move, and just chill for a bit. But I am really fired up for the game itself and trying to catch my 100th lifetime game home run ball.
first inning in the books, the Phillies are already winning, of course. No, not of course. The Orioles are great. Bryce Harper up right here. I want to catch one on Utah Street and get a permanent plaque in the pavement. But that's not it. The Philly captain! I need to get a pedicure. Oh my god, no, you look perfect. Uh, that, what do I? I think so. Thanks, Zach. You just listen for the ball? It's tough here. Because when people are cheering, normally the Orioles did something good. Uh, not today. Not today, because half the crowd is rooting for Philly, so it's tough. We travel pretty good, the Phillies fans. Yes. Especially when they're good. And especially when they're in Baltimore. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's like a 30-minute ride. All the right. Go fans. We got Gunner up. We got right. Gunner up. You get the work. I don't want to get in your way. All right, everyone, watch out. Here we go. He's going to do his thing. Get that ball, Zach. This game has moved along to the fourth inning. Phillies are on top, two to one. And, of course, we've gotten lots of shots of my shoes in this video, so I think it's about time that I tell you how they came to be. I have a friend named Alex Katz. He pitched for a bunch in the minor leagues. I got him in some videos a few years ago. He owns a business called Stadium Custom Kicks. They do custom shoes, and he and his team made these shoes for me. I think they look amazing. Check the description. I'll link to their Insta. You can see it here on the screen. Again, Stadium Custom Kicks. So, you know, I don't think that this is going to be the only day that I wear these shoes. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make them my permanent shoes, but you you guys will see them in more videos, so uh, give the people one more look at these beautiful kicks, why don't you? That is what's up. Thank you Alex Katz and thank you Stadium Custom Kicks. Schwarber at the dish, ready for a shore bomb out here. Top of the eighth inning right now. O's are on top, three to two, and 
And look, it's been pretty slow for me. It's been pretty hot standing out in the sun. But I am still hopeful there's two innings. Still got some good lefties. Harper's coming up next. Anything is possible, my friends. Anything. I take it back. Anything is not possible. Bryce Harper made an out. My decision to stand on Utah Street today was not completely crazy, but damn it, the luck just wasn't quite there. That was Anthony Santander crushing his second dinger of the day. And if we take another look at it, that ball fooled me at first because it was hit so high. You can see that my initial reaction was to run forward. But then when I realized that it had the distance to clear the flag court, I backed up and ran to my left. And if it went just two feet farther, I think I would have had a play on it, but unfortunately the ball clipped the top of the brick column and deflected down onto Utah Street. And by the way, that was a two-run shot, which put the Orioles on top, 5-2. to two. And they scored another run soon after, so when Craig Kimbrell took the mound in the ninth inning, it was not a save situation. But he struck out Edmundo Sosa, and after that he actually ended up striking out the side. And speaking of excellent pitching performances, shout out to Grayrod. That's really what we should all be calling Orioles starter Grayson Rodriguez, who allowed two runs in seven innings to pick up the win and improve his one lost record to eight and two. As for Santander, he was really the player of the game. In addition to the two long balls, he had a walk and a sack fly and four RBIs. Final score here today at Camden Yards, Orioles six, Phillies too. And as for me, I'm back outside this place, and isn't it so beautiful? I just got those two baseballs early on, gave them both away, but they both count for the lifetime total. So, that number is 12,575! Yeah. So, it's frustrating to not catch a home run when I have all this space to run around but it is fun just to have a chance to run after one. So that was cool. But yeah, my quest for 100 home runs rolls on. And this was a day of merch. First of all, if you like this t-shirt, check out zachhampel.com merch. It's one of my own. Why don't you pick up one for yourself? And of course the shoes, you gotta love the shoes. Huge thanks to Alex Katz at Stadium Custom Kicks for making it happen. Check the description because I'll put his Insta in there and also there is a YouTube video that Alex posted that shows me receiving these shoes and then we talked all about it so definitely check that out. Other than that, <clears throat> as I lose my voice from all the shouting here today, it was just so noisy and crowded. I didn't even look up the official attendance but I'll put that number right here on the screen because it was sold out, a lot of people. Um, Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and uh, goodbye. Mwah. Okay, now goodbye.